Hey guys, what's going on? Welcome to the vlog. My name is Vic Barry. I work as a creative video director and editor. In this video, we're going to be taking a look at stock footage sites for photo and most importantly, for video as well, where you can get a ton of stock footage all for free, all royalty free, you don't have to pay anything, and you can use all of this stock footage in your own productions. Now, if you stick around until the end, I'm gonna show you exactly how to use some of this stock footage, and I've got a very cool trick that you gotta see. So let's get to these stock footage sites next. First up, we're gonna take a look at FreePick. A lot of the footage here you can download for free. They do offer a premium option, and they specialize in vectors, all types of vectors from animals to nature to ornaments to ribbons. You've got some photos, you've got PSDs if you wanna work in Photoshop, or you've got some icons as well, and they have a premium collection, but we're just looking at stuff that is for free today, so it costs you nothing, nada, free, in other words. Okay, so very simple. All you gotta do is let's type in something, say I'm looking for a photograph of seagulls, right? Nature's biggest pain in the butt. So they've got a pop up here first, which is a link to Shutterstock. Obviously they're gonna make some money here, but you gotta X out of this one. And then we can see we've got 2,171 results here. If you see this little icon here, that means it's premium, which means you need an account, but forget that we're looking for the free stuff. So let's say I want some photos. We can use the filter here on the right. Let's go with free. And now we have 190 results of these badass evil ninja birds. So let's get this one and then you can download it. So you can do a premium download or you must attribute the author. So if you're using this footage or image in your YouTube videos or wherever you wanna use it, you must use this link and you must kind of say, look, this was downloaded image from FreePick. So that is FreePick, very simple to use. It might be pen in the neck for some of you guys to attribute the order, but keep in mind, this stuff is for free. It's not costing you anything, okay? So that is site number one, all right? Let's go to one of my favorites. This is Pexels, which is an amazing stock photo and stock video site. So we can see here, let's go for NYC. I'm not gonna go for New York, NYC type it in so immediately we've got all of these images of new york some of these look absolutely amazing so let's go with this one of times square free download we have the original which is 6000 by 4000 pixels this is more than enough for you to use in any production 4k or otherwise and you can download that for free you can follow the creator you can donate that's one option so we have new york city 696 photos wow what about videos Oh, yep, there are videos of New York City. So select which one you want. I'm gonna go for one here with Times Square. We got a free download. The original here is 1080p, HD, SD, or if you're crazy, you might use the 640 by 360, and it's a free download, and that's it. Now, the thing to keep in mind with a lot of these stock footage sites is you've gotta be careful of the license. The majority of these licenses are free, and you can find out how to use them in all of the sites. They all vary a little bit differently. Something like FreePick wants accreditation. The license here, though, is simple. All the photos are free to use. Attribution is not required, so you don't have to say, hey, this photo is from blah, 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 or this video is from blah, blah, blah. And you can do whatever the hell you want with these photos and with these videos. Don't forget, still to come, we are talking about some of the best stock footage and stock video sites for free that you can download the footage and use it in your own productions. And I've got a really cool trick for some of you guys out there who will be using stock photos in your videos, and it'll blow your mind. But one more site that I wanna tell you guys about, and this is a really, really great site as well. So this is pixabay.com. Images, vectors, videos, everything. So let me think of, I don't know, something. Let me think of wolves. Okay, let's type in wolves. So we've got all of these pictures of wolves. 142 free photos of wolves, which is insane. And again, click on it. You got your free download whatever size you want. How easy is that? Let me think of another thing. Let's think of my own home country. Let's go with Ireland on Pixabay. So we have the Shutterstock video up here, which Shutterstock is a huge site. You pay for your footage. This is where these guys are making some money. So we have popular stuff. We've latest, we've upcoming, we have videos. So we're selecting the videos. That's what we're looking at. How about Irish photos? See, look at all this. There is the dark hedges. You Game of Thrones fans will know all about that. Look at that. 
you can download this image for free and use it. So this is an incredible image. So I'm going to download this. Look at the size of the 6946 by 3906. It's like bigger than my head. So let's download it. So here's the thing. On some of these sites, you've got to log in for the full resolution. So in this case, I'm just going to go to the 1920 one. Select download. Got to go through the Capacha. Capacha. Carpaccia. Capcha. Download. And that's it. You can say thanks to the order by donating on Pixabay and you are good to go. So there's some of the best stock footage sites for photo and video that I found over the last couple of years. So again, just to run through them, freepick.org, you have pixabay.com and you also have Pexels. All of these sites, especially Pexels and especially Pixabay are insanely good for video. It helps you tell your story. So that's the whole point of downloading some of these. It could be just a talking head video and you're kind of saying, you know, there was this amazing time that I was in Northern Ireland. You know how much of a Game of Thrones fan I was. I didn't get time, but did anyone ever see the dark hedges? Boom! Get that photo in there. And then it's telling the story. It's a little bit of B-roll, completely relatable to what you're talking about. And it helps move the pace along. It helps the attention span not kind of go, I forget what he like, just click something else. So one very cool trick that I'm going to show you guys, and this will work in any video editing software. In this case, I'm going to use Premiere, but it's not just Premiere, it's everything else as well. And it's to do with photographs. It's called the Ken Burns effect. If you've no idea what this is, I'm going to show you. And it is really best practice for putting a photo into video. And let's get to it now. I brought in this free stock photo that I got on, on one of the sites that I've just showed you. And this is how you can do the Ken Burns effect and make your photograph really, really interesting. So I'm going to expand this out here to like around five seconds. So if we look at it here, it's like, okay, it's playing back and it's, it's not kind of doing anything. So what you need to do is create some movement. So we can do this a couple of ways. And remember, the higher the resolution photograph, you might have to set up an account on one of those stock footage sites that are free then the more room you've got to play with. So I'm going to go into effect controls. I'm going to select the scale here to maybe 110. Okay, so we're zoomed in a little bit. Now I'm going to throw in a keyframe. I'm going to bring this to the very start. And now let's go to 100. And we're going to drag this out. So it's for the full duration of the clip. I'm going to select ease in because we want to ease into that kind of uh, scaling. We want to ease out at the start. And now if we play this, as you can see, we've got some nice motion on that photo. So that's how you can put some motion into a photo and help people out to kind of stay with your video if you have stayed this long. Thank you. Now, you don't have to scale in or out, but you can also pan from left to right. So let me delete these keyframes here. I'm gonna go back to the start of the clip. So we're already zoomed in. I'm gonna go into about 120 here. And now we're going to keyframe the position. So the starting position is going to be over here. So we can see, let's go to right there. So we're right on the edge of the picture. Now let's go to the full other side of the clip and let's drag, wrong one Vic, and let's drag it this way. And now if we go back, we have got this pan. So you can tell your story. You've got some motion to keep the viewer interested and everybody wins. How about that? See, how easy is that? Genuinely, that is so easy. So there's kind of three really, really good stock footage sites for video and for photo. And I've used these quite a bit. They're really handy to have. Even if you're just creating thumbnails and you need a really good photograph for a thumbnail, these places are where you can get them. My name is Vic Barry. If you found this video useful, please hit the like button. Please comment, let me know what you think. And if you want to, for more of these types of videos, hit subscribe. We'll see you in the next episode of the vlog. And until then, as we always say here, don't stop fighting for yourself.